Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany to parents Hermann Einstein and Pauline Einstein, in 1879. Albert had a fat head at the time he was born. This startled his mother and grandmother when they saw him for the first time. However, the fat head slowly receded and turned into a normal size. Interestingly, a head containing the brain that would inspire millions of people and the future was not so perfect at birth. Einstein did not speak until the age of three. He revealed this fact about the delay of his speech abilities to his biographer. Today there is a term, Einstein syndrome, which was coined by Dr. Thomas Sawell, to describe exceptionally bright people whose speech is delayed. He spent his teenage years in Munich. His family operated an electrical equipment business in the city. The parietal lobe in Einstein's brain was 15% larger than that of an average brain. The beginning of Einstein's fascination about science came from a pocket compass which was shown to him by his father when Einstein was five years old. He wondered what made the needle point in a certain direction and not anywhere else. This was the beginning of his long and illustrious career in science, which made him renowned around the world. His teachers did not consider him a good student, and they refused to recommend him for further employment. At 16, Einstein is said to have failed an exam that would have let him train to become an electrical engineer. Einstein was born German and a Jew. Einstein renounced his German citizenship in 1896. He became a Swiss citizen in 1901. However, he died in 1955 as an American citizen. The 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Albert Einstein for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. He loved the violin and sailing, and hated socks and haircuts. He also loved bird watching. He always said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, but imagination encircles the world. Einstein was offered the opportunity to become president of Israel after the death of its first president in 1952. Einstein politely refused the offer, saying that he did not have the natural aptitude and experience to deal with people properly. And he could only understand a little of science and none of human nature. Before he died, doctors suggested surgery to Einstein, as he suffered from a burst blood vessel. However, Einstein refused, stating, it is testless to prolong life artificially.